dad and my brother Willie. Uh, my family continued. Uh, my half brother Stellan Giffen, my uncle Alvaro Mendeville, my cousin Ali Mendeville, my aunt Anna Mendeville, and my cousin Alvaro Mendeville. Uh, <laughs> I gave him his own slide. Kind of signify that uh, he means a lot to me. Um, He's probably my biggest supporter, you know, like, I'd say probably, like, a bigger supporter than my mom. Uh, my mom would come home from work tired, and uh, my cousin would come out from Manson, and he'd be like, you gotta take him to his game, it's in Damascus, you gotta, you gotta drive all the way over there. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, he means a lot to me, and my aunt pretty much calls me his dad, because he spent so much time with me. Uh, growing up, I've been here my whole life. Uh, you know, we're in our little bubble here. So, uh, born, born, raised, and uh, I've always lived in the same house, 523 Miami Drive. And uh, I think that's kind of cool because a lot of people are always moving around to houses. Uh, next year, I plan to attend Wazoo. <laughs> um, uh, mainly because growing up, I thought Washington State University was a boring college here. Uh, Only when it matters. <laughs> my, uh, my dad went there. Uh, my dad's brother went there. My uncle went there. So I, I grew up around a bunch of kooks. So you know, you see a lot of kook stickers everywhere. That's all that really matters. So <laughs> I always wanted to go there, and now I am. Uh, future career. I would like to pursue a career in education, and uh, that all started when uh, when I go to church and every Wednesday we have Royal Rangers, and um, I'd go in and I'd help the teacher out, and I mainly have to take care of the smaller kids, um, and that's that's what got me interested. Um, strength. I'm patient, kind thoughtful of others, I can follow directions, and I have a team mentality. And um, I put a picture there in football to kind of show the team mentality part. Um, that's Matt, uh, Beto, me, and my mom. And uh, uh, that, in football, you know, I wasn't the quarterback or the running back. You know, I didn't get all the glory, and uh, I wasn't the one scoring touchdowns. But you know, you, like, you have to sacrifice yourself, you know, so someone can do it, so that, that was me. Oh, weaknesses. I have a hard time saying no when people ask me to do some things. Um, so, like, I'll, you know, they'll, they'll ask me to do something, I'll just keep saying yes, and then I have a huge workload, I'm up to, like, 3 a.m. doing stuff. Um, I get super nervous, like, you know, <laughs> down here, and I'm playing with my button, because... Um, and uh, procrastination. <laughs> procrastination is a big problem. Um, yeah, and I found a picture I thought was pretty funny. Unfortunately, it says, stop procrastinating starting tomorrow. So, <laughs> uh, my next steps um, next year, I uh, plan to end Wazoo. And in five years, I hope to get. Uh, my bachelor's degree, and you know, uh, if possibly switching in like uh, a substitute teacher or you know, just something off to the side. Um, in ten years, you know, I hope to get you know, I hope, like depending on like my financial status and how much money I'm gonna owe, I maybe want to return for master's in education. Uh, so in ten years, I hope. Having a family and have like a stable foundation. And uh, yeah. how high schools prepared me for the future. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Mr. Gleason. He's my he's been my advisor all four years, and uh, he's really made me step out of my own comfort zone. Uh, Mr. Gleason, like I used to. Not want to raise my hand and talk, and you kind of learn that you 
have to in his classes. <laughs> or else he's gonna like call on you anyways. So uh, he's he's really helped me a lot and uh, he's helped me socialize a lot more, helped me come out of my shell. And I'd like to thank you for that. Um, coach I'd like to thank is Coach Tally and Coach Snyder because they've kind of helped mold me as. Um, I'm like uh, they kind of help me be confident, but not overly confident. It's uh, kind of like humble about myself. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go bragging about anything to anyone. Uh, and Coach Tally always taught me, you know, don't give up. You know, push through it. And uh, Coach Tally's type of guy. I could call at 2 a.m. and you know he'd pick up and. Sports, sports have been able to show me, you know, don't be a sore loser, sportsmanship, and uh, you can always, you, uh, you can always succeed at everyone around you. Uh, everyone around you is very, uh, it's, it's kind of the same mentality. And um, in college in the classroom, uh, Sociology. Um, they kind of gave me a a feel of, of like kind of like what college like because uh, Mr. Mr. Gleason was more. He'd always say, "Why be? You know, it's uh, your problem. <laughs> you know, it's uh, you know. So uh, it's kind of like in college, you know, the professor's not going to be there babying you, and uh, Mr. Gleason helped give me a sense of, like kind of what it was going to be. Like, and uh, so I just, I'm feeling confident about, about being able to go to college. Too. Thank you. Just push the button again. I don't know which button. The middle button. I think the next day. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, some awards I've won that mean a lot to me are uh, the Achievement Award, which was uh, given to me by the Rotary, and I was selected because Coach Talley nominated me. Um, I've won some football awards. I've won is the pancake game. Uh, the pancakes is, is uh, when you knock someone on their behind, it. and uh, I broke the school record. Um, and I've I won best offensive lineman, uh, first team all league, and I've been selected to play in the league first West All Star game. And um, yeah, and those awards mean a lot to me because uh, my first three years of football, you know, I was on the JV team and uh, I never got to see much, much varsity time. And then the first year I did, I feel like I did very well. Um, academically, uh, I've got, I've won the 3.0, 3.5 GPA, um, and I've been happy about that. Maintain a good GPA, not. And it's been consistent, like, uh, well, you know, my, my freshman year, I thought I did very well. Good start. Sophomore year, not something I'd like to bring up. <laughs> but my junior and senior year, I feel like I've been very well. Uh, uh, my freshman year, I also won most improved in both baseball and football. Um, some words of wisdom that I would give to uh, incoming freshmen or eighth graders. Um, be everyone's friend, because uh, no one can hate you if everyone likes you. Um, and if you're involved, you won't have a problem with that, because uh, you'll be able to socialize more.
Well, I think you did a really, really <laughs> great job. Um, I didn't notice your nervousness. You spoke well, and we talked through everything. Um, the thing that stands out to me the most is that you are everyone's friend. Um, you have such a good heart, and you're friends with everyone, and I think that's such a neat trait to have. You don't have just one specific group um, that you're friends with, and I think that says a lot about you. Um, your football awards this year are huge. That's amazing. Um, have you ever thought about maybe coaching someday? Not yet. Uh, yeah. I think, really I think you would be a really inspirational coach for your, um, for your kiddos. So when you get into education, I encourage you to get your master's. I think that's something you'll never regret. Then look at coaching. I think you could really be a great influence on so many players. So very good job. Nicely done, and kudos on obtaining an excellent college. Um, couldn't have picked a better school or a better major. Um, you will make an amazing teacher. You have that personality that makes for a great teacher. Um, seeing you at school, I've gotten to know you a little better this last semester. You are such an even heel, just go with it, and dependable is what I always, the first word that always pops into my mind when I think of you is, you know, I know I can say one thing, ask you once, and you're going to do it. And you're not one that I usually have to track down. Hey, I haven't seen you for a while. Have you checked in? So um, you have a family that will support you, um, and they will be there for you your whole life. Depend on them. Know that you have the most amazing cheering crowd that's always rooting for you. And you have a bright future ahead of you. And I can't wait to see when you come back and you get to coach those guys wearing the green and white. So you can wear your uniform again. <laughs> So my question is, what is it about you, you think, that will make you a great elementary teacher? Uh, my patience. Patience? Patience. Um, and so what age, what grade level do you see yourself being most successful at? Um, I think fourth. And mainly because they're not at the point where they're, you know, where they think they're invincible and rebellious. And <laughs> we got to put them in a fourth grade classroom. <laughs> And then, you know, once once the whole class figures out, you can <laughs> and you can push over, then the whole grade starts like, starts to think the So I don't really feel with one class. I like fourth graders. And just your patience, you think, could be the greatest asset you have. Well, I think yeah, I think patience would probably be the, the most important one for elementary school. Jerry, would you like to go observe some elementary classrooms instead of? between now and the end of the year during that TA time? Sure. Because we can set that up and put you in a fourth grade classroom. I mean, no, they're great. But I mean, if you wanted to go, we could totally make that happen. So if that's something you want to do over the next couple weeks, because okay. there's only a few days left, but we can totally make that happen. Okay. It's funny for Mrs. J for a few days. You would like. Yeah, Just I would. Yeah, I would okay. Cool. Being born and raised in Sean myself, it is kind of like it's it, not necessarily a bubble, but um, a wonderful place to find yourself. Um, I see you also, when you mentioned um, being kind, um, you just have this steady way about you, um, and you are friends to everyone. I think that's one of the traits that going into education that um, knowing there are so many different people out there and little kids and personalities, um, understanding each one of those individually and, and being a friend 